And now, for my next recipe, I would like to invite somebody, yes. And I, and I would like him to cook, yeah. Because he's, he's a poet, he's a photographer, he's a makeup artist. Well, in one word, he's an artist. And he loves to cook, yeah. And uh, I would like to know a little bit more about American cooking, yes. Because I travel everywhere, I've, I have all my collection, but I need some more in my book. Mm -hmm. So I would like to present you my friend Michael Doucet. Hello everyone, today I'm American. I am an American man who is going to make something American and delicious. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's gonna be so good. <laughs> Actually, yeah, yeah, I'm not down. that crazy. <laughs> Sorry about that, everyone. It's okay. <laughs> Forgive me. You scared I, me for a while. <laughs> I know, I know I was the, I'm the guest today. Uh, today we're gonna cook something really delicious. We're gonna cook a, a, a wonderful orange zest cranberry sauce. And it's something that my grandmother used to cook when I was young but she never really added any flavor to it. She always added like, it was a little bit bitter, you know, and cranberries in general are bitter. But today we're gonna make something that has a little bit more zest, a little bit more passion, a little bit more spice, and a little bit more mm, passion. Ah, so you mean this is a typical uh, American uh, dish? It is a typical American dish. But with a little twist. With a little twist and a little bit more, when you taste it, it tastes like something that comes from your heart. Oh, good. I would like to see that. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, Michael, do you have a name for your recipe? Yes, I have a, a name for my... I, I, no, I do not. You do but, not. But yes, I do. Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so the name is Yummy, Zesty, Delicious Cranberry Sauce. Well, that explains everything, of course. <laughs> and what are the ingredients that you're going to use? Okay, I, I recommend the, uh, these, which oh, yeah, are yeah, yeah. beautiful, like uh, gorgeous uh, cranberries that you get uh, fresh. And I think they're only seasonal, but uh, I'd have to look into that a little bit more. Mm -hmm. and, and basically, all traditional cranberry sauce is, is water, sugar, and cranberries. Uh, boiled uh, together, and that's traditionally all people usually serve it as. But I don't think you you stopped there. I did not stop there. Yeah. I, wanted <laughs> yeah, to, sure. I wanted to add a little zest yeah. and a little zing and a little bit of flavor ah, and good. a little bit of and passion. What, what are they? Show me, show me. I'm okay, curious. the passion, it's very simple. It's like uh, you, you always want to have the orange zest, which is, I think, the secret. And when you have orange zest almost in anything, as I said earlier, it just adds that aroma and that oh, yeah. it sets and it I over can, the top. We can mm, smell that. Oh, yes. Oh, that's mm -hmm. so beautiful. We'll have to do a close-up of that later. And then the other most important thing, I think, that really adds a lot of texture and crunch and uh, 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 texture, basically, is uh, pecans. And uh -huh. pecans is optional, but I prefer it because, you know, this is why it's, it's now not just boring cranberries and it's yummy cranberry. So basically you want to toast them in the oven about 350 and you really want to keep an eye on them because if they, it goes, fast. It goes really fast yeah, yeah. and you want them just to be a little toasted and it really sets it over the top rather than just raw pecans. And then the other thing that you want to do is uh, always traditional uh, um, at an added uh, bonus to cranberry sauce is uh, raisins, mm -hmm. yummy raisins. Yeah, yeah. And the other thing I like to add is uh, dried cherries. Dried right, tart sure. cherries. Oh, wow, yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's it, yummy. And then, and obviously, sugar. And I like to add a little bit more sugar than normal because remember what I said? Never use a measuring cup. Well, we've got a measuring cup here, but that's only just for show. Because yeah, yeah, basically, yeah. we're going to dump it in, and then I'm going to keep tasting it, and I'm going to add more and, until I get it where it feels like there's some passion. How oh, good, good. We love passion. You know, <laughs> just passion in it. And obviously, you have to add spice, ah, you mm -hmm. know, because, mm -hmm. you know, come on, spice. And cinnamon, yummy, allspice. And most cranberry sauces just at, ask for allspice. But I like to add a little bit of cinnamon and pumpkin pie spice. A pumpkin pie spice. Oh, yeah. that's a, yeah. After what? we've actually taken these cranberries right here and boiled them down, then I will show you how we mix it all together and turn it into a yummy, zesty work of art. Good. We love that. Ah. We want to just pour in the water first. Oh, wow. That was exciting. Okay, we pour the water in first. And you always want to... Uh, to put the water and sugar in first, and you want to bring that to a quick boil, which this is going to go really, really quick here. Uh, and so you just want to cook down the sugar first. Now that this is, uh, has a nice boil to it, I'm just going to add in the cranberries. 
and you just toss those babies in there. And uh, basically, we want to bring this back to a boil right now. Okay, see how it's really coming to a boil really fast? And, uh, and it's, it's, it has a froth over the top. You can see very quickly it's becoming very gummy. It's uh, because the sugar is uh, become caramelizing right now and it's becoming, see how it's, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this down now uh, to about medium. So what I'm gonna do at this point is I'm going to add um, some raisins. And you can add as many raisins as you want. Sometimes I put like, you know, a cup of raisins but I like a lot of raisins. Then, and then the key thing is to, the most uh, lovely thing in the whole world is orange uh, uh, zest. Oh, you can't believe the aroma of this. It's so beautiful. And we're gonna actually grate some more orange zest later to go over the top for a garnish, which adds that added zine, because this kind of cooks into it a little bit more and loses the, you know, the crispness. Throw in a few dried cherries, but I usually use those for uh, garnish at the top too, to add that real zing to it. Uh, for garnish at the top. So we'll put a few dried cherries in there. And so what you want to do is just add a whole, remember I told you I don't measure anything. I'm just going to dump a bunch in there. You know, this is where the feeling and the emotion comes in. Is that too much? Maybe it is. Who knows? Let's just add it in there and make it feel right, man. There's some, that was cinnamon. Now we're going to add some allspice. Now, not too much allspice because that can overpower it. Boom. I just, I don't like to measure anything. Remember, you're fired if you do too much measuring. If you really feel like you have to go by the book, then uh, do a teaspoon of each. Maybe that'll work. But for right now, I'm going to add some pumpkin pie spice, which has kind of allspice in it also and has cinnamon in it. I'm going to go like this. I'm going to mix it up right now. You want to crunch up some of your toasted pecans. So I'm going to toast those babies up in there. And sometimes I leave them whole and sometimes I crunch them up a little bit because uh, you want those big textured crunches in there. Okay, now here's the thing about good cooking. Not that I'm an expert, but it's like creating a piece of art. You just I created this image back here for a book on gentle Aikido, and I love the image of this because it's about freedom and letting go. You know, and this image to me is called freedom. What does it need? Absolutely nothing! <laughs> wow, that looks very good, Michael. Not only it smells good, but it looks very good. Ah, it's got lots of texture to it. But before we're done here, we're going to actually add a, a few garnishes, which I, uh, I, I love, and I think it really um, adds some color, because we want to make it colorful and make it appetizing. So oh, yeah, yeah. what I always do, and usually I have a little bit more than this, but I add a little bit of orange zest ah, on the yeah, top, yeah, which awesome. makes it absolutely mm -hmm. lovely. And then uh, right now, today, all we have is uh, frozen blueberries, because I get those from Costco, because they're out of season. But I put a couple blueberries on there, and you can't beat that. And then uh, also dried cherries over the top, which uh, add a little bit more texture mm -hmm. and that extra flavor of zing in there. And then for sure, a couple more toasted pecans in there. And we can add those for a little bit of color and a little texture. Because, you, you know, oh, yeah. I, I love to make it pretty and make it look like something that you could almost take a picture of and something that you would uh, find appetizing. Yeah, yeah, you're a photographer, that's normal. <laughs> well, yeah, you know, it's like, and, and then a, a little bit of cranberry on, on the top, oh, just to, to yeah. let you know what you're eating. And then always, I mean, you can't go wrong with mint. A little bit of mint on top is always lovely. And uh, that actually makes it uh, have, you know, you, you can't beat a little, little zest. Of yes, and I like that green touch. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, you know, uh, fresh strawberries are always great. But again, these are, these have been a little bit, um, cooked in uh, ah, a little bit yeah, of sugar yeah. in the top uh, mm -hmm. and you know you just can't beat it even a little bit more of color right over oh, the yeah, top. That's, yeah yeah that's oh now it's really mm. it looks like a masterpiece mm, look at that oh my gosh I haven't even had dinner and I'm totally jazzed and turned on mm. well thank you Michael for this great recipe Ah, you, we really enjoy your passion, your craziness. Ah. Crazy, <laughs> and yeah, of course, this recipe. Thank you. It was my pleasure. I hope we'll see you again in the show. Ah, I hope Thank so. You. It was really a pleasure yeah. being a little bit wacko. And I will say, bon appétit with Olala oh cooking.